Hey, how's it going everyone? So we're on a job today. We're gonna be uh, changing some lights out for LEDs. Uh, they're parking lot lights at a school here. Um, we're just gonna be swapping them out. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And uh, hopefully you guys can uh, get something from this. And I'll take you with me and show you what we do. All right, so you can see we got a lift here. We're gonna come over here. So we gotta level these feet out. We're just going to. All right, she's level. All right, so we got the light open. Uh, we just need to remove this lamp, uh, remove two screws on the sides. Someone else has been in here before, so a bunch of loose parts in here. And we'll try to put it back together if we can. Uh, a lot of times the screws are just missing on these and you just gotta deal with what you got, so. All right, so this is inside the fixture. Might be a little hard to see here. So you have your ballast on the left, a capacitor on the right. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is just make sure that this is indeed off. I'm gonna find the hot that comes in. It's gonna be right here, this brown. Uh, this is 277 volt lighting, so uh, we do wanna be extra careful. And it looks like it is off. So what I'm gonna do is carefully cut this zip tie that's holding this bunch of wire and that's holding our lamp holder. I'm going to bring it to the inside of the basket so we don't drop it anywhere in the parking lot if that were to happen. And basically with an LED conversion, you're just bypassing the ballast so you just need to wire uh, your hot, which is our brown in this case, and your white, and wire them straight to the lamp holder wires. Um, the new lamp is what configures your 120 or 277. Uh, it can do both. I've got it all wired in. Uh, this ballast is going to be completely useless in here. Um, I'm not going to take it out. It's a lot of extra work and extra time, and there's really no need to. Um, so basically, all I did was uh, I got to snip these wires. Um, but literally just line side straight to the lamp holder, uh, you're hot and you're neutral and they go straight into here and we'll put our light in and it'll work just fine. So I've got about four more of these to replace throughout this parking lot. I've already done one uh, over there, uh, there. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, one of them is going to be kind of a thing, just because uh, it's this parking lot light, let's see, which one is it, this one, you can see all the cars over there, so that one's going to be kind of a pain, uh, the other two don't look too bad, this one is pretty cleared up, and the ones down there are pretty cleared up, so, um, probably just about one troubled one. So I'll get this thrown back together and uh, we'll get them all put on and then we'll test it and make sure they work.
right, so we just came from over there. Oh, I'm sorry. We just came from over there. We did that one first. Uh, now we are over here, and this one is actually already an LED. Um, either this lamp has just failed, or they never removed the ballast. Uh, I did notice this morning when I got here, it was kind of flashing. Um, these things do go bad. I mean, they have their own little built-in drivers in them, and they do fail. So I don't see any, any burning or anything like that on the lights or on the diodes. Um, everything looks pretty good there. It could just be a bad, bad driver within the light. So I'm still going to pull this apart, check the wiring on it, make sure everything's good there. And, um, if I find anything, I'll let you know and show you. Uh, otherwise I'm just going to put a new lamp in this. So this fixture was wired correctly. Uh, I just wanted to show you this because it's kind of funny how in electrical you can always get a story out of it. Um, I don't know if you can see these wires, how they're all black and charred. Uh, you can see some burning on the metal there. There's actually some burning on the inside of here. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see on that one. But this ballast probably burned up or there was a short at one time. And that's probably why they replaced this one to LED already. Um, so kind of cool. You can always just tell when something went wrong with electrical. And uh, it's kind of funny. So just wanted to show you that. So what I've been doing, just because this is very, very slow, uh, we'll turn this back over, is raising these up just a little bit. About that much, all the way around. That way I can just go right to the next one and I don't have to wait for these things to go all the way up and then all the way back down. So. So I may have said this already, uh, what I did this morning when I got here is I turned all the lights on and I knew I needed to go get a lift and so with these being metal halide they take a little bit to fire up and so I turned the lights on inside, came out here and put white tape on so if it's a double headed pole like this I put tape on the side of the light that's bad that way I don't have to try to remember you know which light it is you know stuff like that so just made it a little easier and yeah so now you can see that these feet are already down low and it'll be nice and easy so we'll just come in here put these back down These do auto level and you can see what we have all it's not actually blinking that's just from the LEDs and the, through the screen uh, they're actually solid green right now but um, that shows you that this thing is level and it'll let you go up so we'll see if we can get this one it's gonna be kind of tight we're a little behind the light it's the one on the right there so these things are up pain to get into sometimes. Alright, we're in. We are in. So, here's a little control board up on top. Just go up for up, down for down, and I forgot to turn the key to the basket. I'll be back. Worst thing ever, when you forget to turn the key to the correct side. <laughs> All right, we have lights, so we're good to go. Okay. 
So a lot of the issues that I see with uh, parking lot lights is uh, chafed wires that going up the pole. Um, so what happens is you can see if I shake this, if you listen, you can hear the wires just bouncing around in there. And on real windy days especially, I mean, these wires just go through a pounding, just going back and forth and hitting on the sides of the walls. And, and you know, the inside of these are never really clean. There's always birds and moisture, you know, rough edges. And so a lot of times you just see these wires will just get burned up and, and you end up having to replace them. So that's just one of the issues that we see. Uh, nothing like that has happened in this parking lot. All these seem good. Um, this is all mostly probably just the lamps have burned out, but they wanted to go with LED, so uh, that's what we're doing for them. So. So as you can see on that last one, I couldn't quite reach. Uh, I'm gonna have to have someone move a bunch of these cars so that I can get into that space. Um, not a big deal. I'm gonna keep moving on this last one here. And then uh, once we get those cars moved, we can get that one moved over and um, get it changed out. And this parking lot will be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now since I can get to it. So that's it. Uh, all the lights are working um, just how they should. LEDs, they're real nice. You know, they fire right up. Those uh, metal halides, they take a little while. And, uh, you know, it's probably a better option to go with anyways instead of just changing them out for the metal halides again. So, um, yeah. So if you guys like today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notification of uh, when we post out more videos. And make sure to hit that like button. Thanks. I'm just gonna try to take a video of it so I can show. There we go. <laughs>